There are times when you need to change your line and paragraph spacing in your Word document. Sometimes increasing the amount of space between lines can add more white space and it can also um, make it easier to read or just better its appearance in general. And we can change the line and paragraph spacing from the paragraph group, which is on the home tab of your ribbon. One button that you need to be familiar with is the show hide button and this is here in the paragraph group and as you can see when I hover over it it does tell me that this is the show hide button and when I click on it that button shows me all of the paragraph and spacing marks in my document sometimes turning show hide on can be helpful when you're trying to determine whether or not you have too many spaces in between paragraphs or in between words or that kind of thing so I'm going to just click it one more time to turn it off. If I want to change um, spacing in my Word document, in this case I'm going to change line spacing, I can select the text that I want to make a change to. And after I select the text, I can choose the line spacing button and I can change it to whatever I need to. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to 1.15. And as you can see, that just adds some more. And the bigger I go, the more it adds space in between my lines of text. So if I want to make changes to line spacing, it's very simple to do it here from the paragraph group. There might be times when I need to take a look at what paragraph spaces um, I have set up in my document. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select my paragraph again and I'm going to click on the page layout tab. The page layout tab is where I have my spacing information displayed for me. So you can see here that my paragraph spacing is set to zero points before and after the paragraph um, ends. So I can change that here. And as you can see, the more spacing before that I add, the more blank space is added to my document before the paragraph begins. So I'm just going to change that to 6. And then the same thing, as you can see, is going to happen if I change spacing after the paragraph. The bigger that number goes, the bigger the blank space gets after the paragraph ends. And I'm just going to set both of those to 6 for now. In addition to changing the line and paragraph spacing, I might also need to align paragraphs within my document. When I left align a paragraph, that means that the text is going to be flush with the left margin and might have a ragged right edge. And as you can see, that's what Word documents are set to by default. So if I look at this paragraph, all the text on the left lines up, whereas the words end at different places on the right. I can also right align paragraphs, which means that the text is going to be flush with the right margin. Or I can center a paragraph so it's positioned evenly between the left and the right margins. I can also justify a paragraph so that both the left and right edges of a paragraph are flush. So to show you that, I'm just going to select my title here, which is already left aligned. And from the Home tab, I have my alignment buttons here. And as you can see, Align Left is selected. I can change to Center Align that text, to Right Align that text, or to Justify that text. I'm going to leave this one centered for right now.